y'all and good morning welcome back to another day we are headed on a field trip today we're going to an apple orchard with a homeschool group my sister and her kiddos are actually coming that's where we're going right now we're gonna probably run through and get us some breakfast kind of drive through and then head out to her house and we're gonna kind of follow each other out to the apple orchard fun fact i've never been to an apple orchard before i don't and y'all have never been either have you i didn't think so um so it'll be a first for all of us. It's also Fall Food Friday. I'm recording on Thursday. You're gonna see this on Friday. And we're gonna make homemade macaroni and cheese. Another first for me, something I've never done before. And Justin requested pork chops. What else did he say? Turnip greens and cornbread muffins to go with it. I had to think about it. So that's what we're gonna be cooking after we get home and we're gonna share that with you, share that macaroni and cheese recipe with you. Hopefully it turns out well. I guess we'll find out together. It's currently 54 degrees outside. What? Perfect day for the apple orchard. Yeah, everyone's like, it's cold. I need a blanket. It's going to warm up a little bit. I think it's supposed to get to about 70, which is still pretty cool because it's been in the 80s. Um, I think maybe even, yeah, even in the high 80s some days. So it's a little bit of change when it comes to the weather, but we're liking it. We're liking it. Okay, we're going to head on, go grab us some breakfast, go to my sister's, and see if we can find us a apple orchard. I started to say pumpkin patch, not today. That's coming up too, but today we're going to an apple orchard. Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds. Because without you by my side. I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed now I see clear as day oh, And I just wanted to here. say That you can take me high Feels like I can fly You can take me high I can see the sun staring at you When you make that smile I'm closer to you now. Oh, a bushel and a pet. I can't get close to you somehow. And I was down until you saved me, until you set me free. My eyes were closed, now I see clear as day. And I just wanted to say that you can take me high. Gonna go ahead and get started on supper. Little man is being very fussy and does not want mama to put him down, so I'm gonna have to very carefully <laughs> try to cook supper while I hold him. So that's why you see little feet. So, first things first, we're gonna get started on macaroni and cheese. I'm actually gonna make some pork chops, turnip greens, and cornbread muffins to go with it, but they're all super simple. It's turnip greens from a can because we like them. I'm doing Jiffy corn muffin mix, and I'm just going to put some Dell seasoning um, on the pork chops and put them on the grill. So the macaroni and cheese is going to be the star tonight, and that's the recipe that I'm going to share with you. I've got some boiling salted water, and I'm going to put four cups of elbow macaroni in here. And we're going to go ahead and get this cooking, and I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven. I think it's 350. That's what we're going to start at if we need to change it. We will, and Aldridge, yeah, Aldridge is over here helping me out. She is shredding up some cheese and getting that ready for us. So as soon as our noodles are done, I actually know while our noodles are cooking, I also need to start working on the sauce mixture. So let's do that. I don't need to wait till they're done. It needs to be ready when they're done. In this pot back here, I'm gonna get half of a stick of butter melting or four tablespoons. And then once that's melted, we're gonna put a quarter cup or four tablespoons of flour in there with it. And then we're gonna add in two and a half cups of milk and some salt and pepper. Essentially, we're gonna make a roux. And then 
We're going to add our cheese into it and make a nice cheesy sauce for a macaroni and cheese. Are you mama's helper? Huh? Are you being mama's helper? Is it ideal to be cooking macaroni and cheese while holding a baby? No. But if we want to eat supper tonight, that's what I got to do. So my camera had cut off on me without me realizing it right here. So I wanted to hop on and tell you that I did add in my flour. And then Audrey's going to go ahead and add the milk in. It just cut off and didn't get me putting the flour in. So I wanted to let you know that it was in there. Two and a half cups, please, ma'am, very carefully. There you go. Miss Mama's little helper. I just need some snuggles right now. I'm going to let Easton put some salt and pepper in our sauce mixture so that I don't have to reach over the hot stuff with the baby. Mm -hmm. The same thing with the salt. one fell asleep. I knew he was tired. So I'm going to go ahead and drain our noodles and then we're going to come back to our sauce. We need to get one egg in here, but if we just pour it right in, we risk it scrambling. <laughs> yeah, and that's not what we want. So we're going to temper it. I'm going to take a little bit of this mixture out and I'm going to put it in this bowl right here with my egg and mix it around just to warm that egg up a little bit before I pour it in. Now our egg can go into the sauce, hopefully without scrambling. Now that this is nice and thick and our egg is in there, we're going to put in 16 ounces of shredded cheddar cheese. I think I'm going to reserve about a half a cup of the cheese to put on the top. So, yep, that's good. Let's stir this in. Let that cheese melt into the sauce. Ooh, <laughs> that is good. That looks so good. Cheesy. We're gonna pour this over into our noodles, and we have a greased baking dish ready to go. Now you could serve this just like this, but we're gonna take it a step further and bake it. So we're gonna put it in a greased baking dish and I'm gonna to top it with some extra cheese and some bread crumbs. And then we're gonna bake it at 350 for about 25 minutes. Mm. Oh my goodness. Yum. That half a cup or so of cheese that we reserved, we're gonna go ahead and put that all over the top and then sprinkle some bread crumbs on top of that. And then the bread crumbs just for a little crunchy texture right on top. I'm gonna guess maybe about half a cup. And again, that's not something you have to do. Optional. But if you want, yeah, optional, but if you want to, you can. I definitely have that end of the day look going for me. My hair's falling down, my makeup's rubbed off. But what I was going to say is this mac and cheese recipe is something I just kind of, I looked at a bunch of different recipes, decided how I wanted to do it. So I'll type it out down in the description box in case you want to make it like we did.
So here are our thoughts on the macaroni and cheese. It was very good. But next time I think I'm going to add even more cheese. Maybe add some Velveeta cheese in with it. And instead of doing plain breadcrumbs, I'm going to do Italian breadcrumbs on the top. I think that'll be really good. Thank y'all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.